It is often said that the roof of the law covers us all. It applies to everyone, but it also protects everyone. Unfortunately, the concept, justice for all, for many of us, is a far cry from reality. I had a credit card charge where I was double billed. And the manager told me the exact same thing. You know, Miss Collins, you either pay 15% or you pay all. When I was out of town uh, one time, one of the tenants uh, burned, accidentally burned the house down. A few years later, I got a letter from the owner's insurance company. Dear Mr. Whitworth, we're suing you for $100,000 for burning down the house. Someone had hacked into my site. They'd gone out there and was using my particular server to sell bogus stuff through an online auction site under my name. All of a sudden I'm getting a letter from collections telling me that I owe them $200. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for this unique and dynamic show is the former four-term attorney general of the great state of Mississippi. A man who started the movie The Insider playing himself with Russell Crowe. My friend and your advocate, Attorney General Mike Moore. I'm Mike Moore. Over the course of today's program, we'll discover how the promise of justice for all has been broken and what we can do to mend it. The phrases lawsuit and legal situation tend to evoke thoughts of serious crimes, the high profile celebrity cases that are constantly flooding our airwaves, or large corporations fighting for ownership. I was personally part of one of these high profile cases not too long ago. In 1994, as Attorney General of my state of Mississippi, I filed the first case against the tobacco industries of this country. I'll never forget the fact I showed up at the first uh, time we had a court hearing, and there were 68 lawyers on the other side for the tobacco industry, and we had three lawyers on our side. So I know what it feels like to go into court against all odds. Even the governor of my state filed a lawsuit with the tobacco companies against me to stop me. Well, determination and a lot of help from all the attorneys general in this country resulted in about a two hundred and fifty billion dollar settlement for all the states i tell you that story to tell you how important it is for us to be here today talking about prepaid legal services because it's important that people have access to the courts whether it's a big case or your case that may not be so big but is just as important to you I have 20 acres of land and the state wanted to widen the road and they wanted to buy an acre of my land and they made me an offer that I could refuse and after going back and forth and countering several times they just didn't want to budge so I called the provider law firm and I said I know they can take it through eminent domain but aren't they supposed to pay me fair market value and they said yes they are and I said what are my options they said you can accept it you can counter it or you can reject it well, since I countered already, I said, what happens if I reject it? And they said, they will sue you for the land. Well, as a prepaid legal member, I knew that I had protection. And I said, you know, jury, my peers will decide. And they said, that's right. And I said, that's great. So I hung up the phone. I called the state. And I said, I think I'd like for you to sue me. And they didn't know what to do. You know, and after several phone calls from superiors and whatever, they agreed to pay the fair market price, which paid for my membership for a very, very long time with one phone call to prepay legal. A legal situation doesn't always mean you're going to court. The truth is, things happen every day in our lives which can be classified as legal events. Lease agreements, large purchases, needing a living will, and having an appliance warranty denied are just a few examples. We've been conditioned by a society rich in lawsuits and legal expenses to accept minor injustices. It's not right, but that's life for most of us. Well, a, a fundamental underpinning in our nation is the justice system. It's the framework that really holds everything together. Uh, and it's not going to work unless uh, all citizens feel that they have access to it. Uh, that's the only way our country will prosper and will survive, really. So uh, all groups need to be afforded a way to uh, have access to the justice system. Uh, if they don't, why uh, the country will be weakened because of it. Prepaid legal, through this mechanism that has been developed, is uh, they're, they're making 
legal representation possible for persons of moderate means. We know we are treated unfairly. We know we're taken advantage of at times, but most of us see access to the legal system like an exclusive country club, something reserved for a fortunate group of wealthy people. We have families to provide for and financial responsibilities. Real life doesn't allow for the type of financial commitment justice requires, so we simply let it go. Is there really no way to access the promise of justice for all? A letter from the law firm got my money back. Within 30 days, everything's fixed. I didn't have to worry about anything. They did everything for me. And they wrote one letter for me on my behalf, and in less than 10 days, the whole balance was cleared and my credit was good, and I'm a happy customer. They went down to the uh, county courthouse for two pretrial hearings, got the entire case dismissed. They saved me $380 by a simple letter, and I could never have gotten that myself. What gave these people the courage and the financial ability to find justice? These are testimonials received from real people facing real life issues. The testimonials were given by people who own a life events legal plan from Prepaid Legal Services Incorporated. Prepaid Legal is a New York Stock Exchange company that has been providing legal service plans for over 30 years. Their unique life events legal plan and identity theft shield protection were developed in response to the growing concerns we've already established. It's a calculation we make someday. We said, you know, someday we'll be sick and someday we'll need a filling and someday our kids will wreck our car and or maybe we'll do it ourselves. And someday we may be sued or someday we may need to sue somebody that has hurt us. And so what Harlan did is he said, you know, people believe in, in putting a few dollars down on a regular basis so that they're covered when things happen. And he was able to aggregate a lot of that together and good, good lawyers who would work at, a, at a, a, a good rate because of the broad coverage that they were able to get. And I think it's been a great uh, American success story. You need good, affordable legal representation. And Harlan Stone Cipher, who was just a visionary, saw this for all communities. And it certainly has accented the uh, African American community to help. Uh, if you got people who have bad records, people who have trouble, can now call prepaid legal and get good representation and deal with charges that aren't supposed to be on their side, for realtors who have messed you around, for dry cleaners who have overcharged you or lost your clothes. All of these items which are necessary to the quality of life, Prepaid Legal has an answer for. And I think that's the beauty of it. So, when I studied Prepaid Legal and looked at it and saw the worth of it, I said, this is good, this is something that the National Black Chamber of Commerce should support, and we certainly do. We've discovered that most people who do not have access to legal counsel will simply accept their circumstances and go on. When the credit card company charges unfair fees, when your cell phone service provider is unreasonable, or when an invoice is higher than quoted, what can we do but pay and go on? You see, it's not about whether you absolutely have to have an attorney in some cases. It's about whether having an attorney could make a difference by empowering you to make better decisions, resolve conflicts, and have peace of mind. I think uh, a lot of people, when they hear about prepaid legal, they think maybe it's too good to be true. Uh, they, they read articles in the Wall Street Journal saying lawyers are now charging $1,000 an hour, and they have a hard time believing that for not very much money a month, they can have access to really good lawyers doesn't seem to make sense. There must be some sort of catch. But uh, there really is no catch. Uh, you, you've got a, just an army of great lawyers out there who aren't totally driven by the bottom line. They're driven by a, a desire to solve problems for average middle class people. So um, I think the attorneys general being involved helps show people that it's a legitimate operation, gives credibility to the organization and they know that uh, we wouldn't be involved unless we believed in what prepaid was doing and that it was a it was a good company I got a call one night about three or four o'clock in the morning a young man he was about 23 24 years old he'd been stopped by the police because he had neon running lights on his car so I took the call and I, I ran down the hall so you know I didn't wake up my wife It was four o'clock in the morning and he said, look, they've stopped me for neon running lights. They want to search my car. 
And I said to him, I said, okay, have you been drinking? He said, no. I said, are there drugs in the car? He said, no. But he was very nervous, and as an attorney, the first thing you don't want to do is consent to a warrantless search, to a search without probable cause. So I said to him, I said, okay, let me talk to the officer. So he hands the phone to the officer, and I said, officer, you've stopped this young man for neon running lights. He goes, yeah. I said, that's illegal. He said, where did you go to law school? You don't know that? I said, look, when I went to law school, they taught me about important things like contracts and murder. I said, now you tell me the probable cause for searching this car, for giving him a field sobriety test, for giving him the breathalyzer. And he said, look, I have the right to do this. I stopped him. I suspect it. I said, then good. Then you tell me how you're going to respond to the civil rights case we're going to file after the warrantless search. This is a violation of his constitutional rights. I said, now give me back the phone and let me instruct my client. So I got the kid on the phone. He was a young man. He was terrified. I said to him, look, I have already told the officer I'm not consenting to the search, but you have to be the one to tell him that you're not going to consent to the search, you're not going to take a field sobriety test, and you're not going to take the breathalyzer. At that point, the young man sounded kind of distracted, and I heard him say, uh, thank you. And I said, what's going on? He said, the cop just gave me back my license. He's walking back to his squad car. Life's not fair. Not everyone is honest, and bad things happen. But when they do, don't face them alone. Whether it's a simple conflict with an auto repair, a faulty product, or helping you deal with the tragedy of identity theft, with a legal service plan and identity theft coverage, you'll have power, confidence, and peace of mind. Access to the system is the key. That's why wealthy people are willing to pay a lot of money to have it. Justice for all can and should be a reality for all. Prepaid Legal Services Life Events Legal Plan can help that happen at a price you can afford for you and your family.